Okay, next supine pose. We will be again supported on the mat, on the floor. We will attempt with your left one leg up. So more of a reclined big toe lift. Okay, similar to forward fold, but you're lying down and your leg comes up from the ground. With this one, mainly the key goal here is, the main goal here is to extend your legs out to release your hamstrings. Then it'll allow you for your leg to extend a bit deeper and also allow your hip, your inner half of your hip to open up a bit more or more importantly to release. So it's a bit relaxed as you pull in. The idea is to make sure you can release the tension from the inner half or the back half of your leg near the hamstrings and near your hip so that it's a little bit easier to allow for extension and folding later. And it'll also release a bit of pressure on your lower back. Right, so without further ado, let's begin. Start by lying down. Okay, same thing. Make sure that the setup, that your back is nice and flat on the floor. Try to avoid any curve or deep bends at the lower half. You don't want to have a hollow back. As you lie down, you want to make sure that there's no gap in between your back and the floor. Right? Then from here, once you're good and ready, you feel alright, very gently. Just lift one leg up. Where your hands are, it really doesn't matter. It's fine. Slowly inhale, lift one leg up. Exhale very gently, allow it to go to any distance that you feel is fine. Breathe. Two, three. So to start, very gently, have your two hands grab behind the knee joint if you're okay. Okay, if you want to go a little bit higher, go a bit higher above the knee. Try not to grab on the knee, if not your leg will bend slightly. Right, so from here, very gently, inhale. First, press your back into the ground, square your chest. Try to push your shoulders away from your ears. Slowly exhale, relax the entire length of your leg from top to bottom. Slowly exhale, pull, very gently begin to pull. So you want to bend your elbows, you want to pull the leg in, the toe will come a little bit closer to your face. Take your time. Two, three, you want to make sure that your left leg, the toes are relaxed. If they start to flex, you're starting to get a little bit tense, try to relax the legs in, gently, Pull, focus the strength in the upper half of your body all the way through your arms. Two, three, right. If you want to go a little bit deeper from here, if you're feeling good, gently inhale first. Slowly extend both your hands up. Grab the ankle. If you feel all right, your hands can extend a little bit higher. The shoulders may come off the floor. It's completely fine. If you can, very gently inhale first. Lengthen, allow everything to pull open first. Two, Three, as you exhale, take your time. Push your shoulders down, exhale. Pull the leg a little bit closer, relax. Try to make sure that you keep the left leg down as much as possible. If it starts to lift a little bit, it's also fine, but try not to lift it too high up. Try to keep it as close to the ground as you can, or you can elevate the foot on the block. It's totally fine. Then you take your time, slowly pull. Two, three, four, Five, if it still feels okay from here, you can take it a little bit further, gently extend. Same leg, same hand. You release the hand forward with your peace fingers, hook your big toe, very gently take your time, allow the leg to adjust, flex it a little bit. You can release the left hand or the opposite hand. Take your time, two, three, one, ready. Same thing, inhale, slowly lift through your chest, slowly lengthen up, two, three, once ready, exhale, slowly gently, Pull through your shoulder, let the leg come down. Take your time slowly. The lower half of the butt may tense up. So with each exhale, take your time slowly, relax. Pull the leg a little bit deeper. Two, three, four, five. Once you feel the stretch is good enough, make sure that there's no numbing sensation from the heels of the foot all the way up to your knee and the lower half of your butt. Take your time slowly, inhale, release it forward. First, two, three, Release the hand, gently exhale, drop the leg down and breathe. Two, three, then once you're done, slowly change to the opposite leg. Then just repeat the same cycle. Then work through it a few times so that your hips feel a little bit more open than your hamstrings. As you cycle through, one leg will feel a little bit tighter or looser than the other. That's really dependent on whether you're right dominant or left dominant. And it's completely fine. So just go through the motion. If one side is a bit tighter than the other, you might want to hold it a little bit longer. And if throughout your leg bends a little bit, it's also fine. You might want to get the range first or you want to get the distance of the leg or the knee a bit closer to your body. So pick one, whether you want to get an intense stretch or a full straight leg. It's completely fine. So work through either one, have fun, and then go through the motion. 
If you liked this video, and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe below, and don't forget to hit the notification button.